Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome to Iron Mammal episode number 11. We are starting off this video with the most exciting content in RuneScape. Mining. Just got level 55 mining. I'm going to go take this out of the sack really quickly. Um, I think I'm pretty close to being able to buy the Prospector top. I have this philosophy, same with Void. Buy the most expensive stuff first. It's just the way that I operate. Uh, 49 golden nuggets right now. Top costs, I think, 60? Yeah, it would cost 60. So, need about 11 more to go. I'm hoping by the time I get 60 mining for this episode, I should be able to buy the top and the bottom. I'm hoping. But anyways, I'm going to do some Slayer right now. I currently have a task of Blood Veld's. Be a pretty nice way to start training some range. Oh my god! <laughs> he added me! No way! Oh no! I just got so excited. I've been making this wager that if people could get Zezima to add me back, I would start adding other people in this account. I think he just turned his private on though. Damn it! I just got so excited! Just got a hard clue scroll drop here at Blood Veld's, which is very, very rare. Uh, I got about 13 left to kill. I've leveled up range twice. I went from 61 to 63, so I'll finish this off quickly here, and then we can go do our hard clue scroll. 121 Hellhounds. Unfortunately, I can't kill Cerberus, but that will definitely mean some more hard clue scrolls, so I'm pretty excited about that. Oh! Nice! I mean, it's not, like, super duper useful because it would have been nice to get a god dehyde that, like, actually... Wait, what am I saying? Armadillo will help for the actual Armadillo god wars. Oh, nice! That is a really, really good reward, boys. I am happy. Okay, I've killed approximately, like, four hellhounds and there is a hard glue scroll. Nice. Got this reward in the wilderness. Came out. I'm gonna make sure I actually get my reward. Okay, a couple solid Alks and some more Sharks, not bad. Okay, so just a few kills later, I got another Clue Scroll, and I just got 62 Slayer, so this is a great task. What the hell? They're all just here, perfectly synchronized, <laughs> what? Alright, still a decent reward, they're just progressively getting worse, but uh, not bad. I hopped worlds, killed a single hellhound, and got a clue scroll. Nice. That's my third one this task. Uh, by the way, actually, I just made a, uh, a bet to my Twitch chat. Hellhounds can drop a smoldering stone at a 1 out of 32,000 drop rate. If I happen to get one, I'm going to shave my melon bald. Just how you like to know that. <laughs> Thanks to the clue scroll. Mystic fire staff, diamond bracelet, and rune boots. <laughs> Mother Mary, what is happening today? That is my fourth clue scroll of the task. Like, it sounds like I'm complaining, but this is fucking awesome. Ooh! That is a fantastic clue scroll. That was a really gross sound, sorry about that. Okay. These are all great alkables. I'm probably gonna save the room plate body G just so I can look like a baller, but... Wow, that is a very, very good clue scroll. Alright guys, just finished our Hellhounds task. I think we did either four or five clue scrolls. Uh, I went ahead and got a new task and we got some blue dragons. Really quick, I want to talk about my Slayer points. I'm thinking next I should buy the ability to make Broad Bolts. Either that or Slayer Rings. I'm thinking Broad Bolts will help me more right now because I'm probably not getting 75 crafting for a long time. So, anyways, I'm thinking we're going to buy uh, Broad Bolts here pretty soon. But uh, let's go do some blue dragons. Just got 74 strength, he read the little babies, and we also got 89 combat, so I didn't realize this high level, like, we're almost level 90, that's nuts. Do you mean to tell me that Ankus drop bowls of fried mushrooms? You just picture these little bastards, like, in a kitchen, just slaving over a stove to make fried mush- Jagex, you're so weird. Oh my god, I am about to go to the owner of OS Buddy and just suck him right off. If you hold down control, you can just uncheck things from appearing. What? That is so cool! 53 steel dragons. Um, really, really not an option in my stats. Oh god, I'm kind of conflicted. Like, I don't want to waste points, but, nah. 
I I cannot do that, dude. That's gonna take me literally like five hours. I'm gonna skip it. Oh, but there's oh, there's so many good alkables. Oh man. Um, should I just kill like five and then just call it good? Let's just kill like five. See if we get lucky. All right, so I actually decided to kill three of these things. I got back-to-back -back super attacks, and now I got a rune axe, so at least I got an alchemist out of this. Yeah, I'm gonna go, though. I'm gonna skip this. Uh, some of the chat is telling me to, like, fully ban them. Probably a good idea, but then again, it's a lot of points. I don't know. I don't know if I should ban it or just skip it, but anyways. I'll decide, and then I'll get a new task. 177 cow fights. That's a great XP task. Maybe kill a cow fight queen if I'm feeling cheeky. Oh no. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> A 37? Oh my god. Go my queen, your ass is mine. Let's go. Let's go. I am dropping this thing like it's hot. Wait, can I flinch it? <gasps> 157 black demons. I'm kind of considering blocking them because it's gonna be a long time till I can do them, so... Oh god, should I skip or block? Uh, 420 donation from Bamox. Thank you, Bamox, for the 420. She gives me a YouTube link. By the way, she confirmed it's a real girl. Thank you for the 420, Bamox. I do appreciate it. I'll get you updated in a second. Thank you very much. What you? What? What's your YouTube link? I don't know if I should block or skip them, man. Like I want to block them because I'm not be able to cannon them for a long ass time. But no, nah, that's just that's gonna take way too. Long. And give me my ranger boots. Better be a pair of ranger boots in this. That may or may not have been worse than the last one. Medium clue is you can. Uh, you can just go in a direction. I. I was gonna tell you to fuck off in like a really weird way, but I'm just gonna- I'm actually just gonna stop the recorder now. Just got level 63 Slayer here at Dagonauts. I wanna say I unlock something. I wanna say it's like Spiritual Warriors or something like that. I'm actually gonna run up and check. Couple good jobs already though. I've done uh, a couple of medium clue scrolls and also some snap seed, so... Pretty good task so far. I got... Spiritual Rangers? No! <laughs> That's a terrible task. Just got 75 hit points as well. Damn, we're just getting hella levels right now. Just got 75 hit points. Um, I'm not in. I'm not planning on doing the entire task here. Last episode, I started doing some Dagonoth Rex, and I plan on continuing that later on in the task. But uh, nice guys, we're getting crazy levels right now. All right, we're back here to Motherload Mine, still working on getting 60 mining. We just got 60 golden nuggets, which means I can buy my first piece of Prospector. There's the prospector jacket i feel like i did this not too long ago on my main so this actually goes by fairly quickly i really don't buy this mini game later tonight i want to do some solo wrecks so i'm here collecting some renars here at the chaos jewels just got level 75 strength you know i don't know whenever i play this account i don't feel like i'm as high level as i am but i'm almost level 90 that's pretty crazy Okay, just finished the Throne of Miscellanea quest. Last episode, a lot of you guys were trying to tell me the importance of doing this quest, so there is that done. I think next I need to do... I forget what it's called. It's like Royal Throne or Royal Trouble. There we go. So I'm going to do that right away, and then we can start putting money into Kingdom of Miscellanea. Okay, so we are the part of Royal Trouble where I have to actually fight skill specs, poor guy... It's like 4 in the morning in the UK, evidently he's still up, so we've got to slay him really quickly, and then the quest will be over with. Okay, there we go guys, just finished the Royal Trouble quest as well. From here on out, I can start putting in 75k per day here at Throne of Miscellanea, and hopefully that'll help me a lot in getting supplies, so I don't have to manually grind him out all the time. Do I level up anything? I don't, how depressing. Okay, well, at this point now, I'm gonna head over to Dagonoth Rex. I have enough supplies to do about 3 trips, so... Hopefully this episode will be the lucky one, we can maybe grab our Berserker Ring, and I'll be back if I happen to get anything. Just got a hard clue scroll drop on kill 63, not bad, not bad. Here comes the Berserker Ring. I can feel it, dude. I think that's rare drop table, and now I'm salty. Maybe it is, and I have no idea. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. 12th hard clue scroll. We have two pages here. 
No, I believe in the bank. I have Zamorak page one and two. So please be three or four. No, I definitely have that. Fuck. Okay, is this a Sarah page or an Arnold page? Oh, well, at least I got a new Sarah page. Oh, no. The duplicate Sammy page. Oh, to see, now I get the Iron Man struggle. Well, let me check to be sure, but I definitely have one of those. Yeah, I have one and, th one and three. God dang it. Well, I suppose there's our first official axe drop. Not the one I wanted, though. Oh, come on. Fremnik shield drop on kill 73. What a troll. Well, I mean, I guess it's a unique drop, but I don't want it. Well, I had to teleport out on 73. Unfortunately, once again, no good drops from this, uh, this Dagonos task. Sooner or later, though, I mean, Rex is bound to give us up something soon. Alright, got some cow fights. Not bad. Alright guys, we are back on the range grind in preparation for getting ourselves a fire cape. Just got 65 range here at Greater Demons. I think I can wield black chins now, which obviously I won't use those for a very long time, but hey, I can use them, I guess. So I have been here grinding out this task very slowly because of my range level, and we finally got a hard blue scroll drop. Nice! Oh, that's a special full helm. <gasps> black dehyde body! Never mind, I have an Arminal Dehyde body. Quit nerdgasming, you dumbass. Okay, anyway, we got a Sarah Full Helm. That's kind of cool, I guess. I don't know why I thought I needed this. I have a Carol's top and an Arminal Dehyde body, but that really got me excited for like two seconds. Oh well, I'll take it. Okay, guys, at long last, there is the Greater Demon task completed. We are all the way up to 66 range currently. We only got one hard clue scroll, but it's better than none. Alright guys, I'm gonna keep doing a uh, range slayer. Put the slayer helm on! Oh, I got it just in time. Fire giants. Oh, my cousin's from the south. Alright guys, there we go. There at long last is level 60 mining. That is one of our two requirements done for lunar diplomacy. I apologize, I'm starting to come down with a cold. I'm sure you can tell, but... There we go, guys. I can enter the world famous mining guild. Okay, world famous. But there we go guys, there's level 60, um, I think I'm about halfway to buying the legs right now, so we made some decent progress on the Prospector set as well. First chest of the night. What a disgusting start. Alright guys, doing some barrows tonight, just got level 73 magic here at Torags. So I decided to take a break, I'm currently 68 range and I currently have Blood Bells, which is boring as all hell, so we're taking a break here at Barrows, trying to get that Barrows home, preferably with Airax for the, uh, the Fire Cape. Alright, here we go. Good luck, sir. Let's see what we get. No! The duplicate! Gosh dang it. But, at the very least, we are breaking the dry streak. On chest 132. You know, I was just saying how my Torax body is almost broken. I guess, technically, I won't have to fix it now, but... Okay, cool guys, that is our second that is our second duplicate on this account, but you know what? I'll take it. It breaks the dry streak. Will we commentate what just happened? Yes. Three, two Don't put me on a spot like this. Three, uh, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I just got seventy six. Just got se Mr. Mammal just got seventy six combat. No, 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 no. Seventy six no. hit points and ninety overall combat. There you go. All right, Cody, if you would please do the honors of opening this Barrow's chest for me. If you would. Uh, oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> back to back, we got a Varax nice. whale! Holy <laughs> shit! Oh there my god, was. Cody. <laughs> right here. Boom! The Varax whale! Oh my goodness. Back to back Barrow's rewards. Boys, we had a dry streak. The luck is back. Let's go. All right, Cody, you want to loot this again? All right, Can we get a back to back to back? I'll probably pay you. Oh my frick, right, Cody, get out of my room! Of the key. Nope, you just killed it. You, oh my, man, the luck is over. Get out of my room. All right, guys, here we go. Final chest of the stream and of the episode, chest number one hundred and forty. Can we get a third item this episode? No. No, we cannot, but that is a couple new Barrow's items added. Unfortunately, we did have one duplicate, but one new one, which is the Varax Flail. Long term speaking, the Varax set is extremely important for PVM, so I am definitely very, very happy with my look tonight. Currently, I have a task of Anku. Just got level 65 Slayer. I can now kill Dust Devils. 
Um, I am 11k off of 69 range, so I suppose through the next couple of tasks we should have level 70 range. Just got assigned 183 spiritual creatures, which essentially translates into 183 spiritual rangers, which is obviously not something I want to do. I'm really trying to save up my points so I can buy this broader fletching thing, but I, I obviously cannot do this. That would take absolutely ages. Fire Giants, that is much better. Um, I don't know if we'll get 70 on this, but we'll get damn close. Alright, nice. There we go, guys. The task we are getting 70 range on is going to be Hellhounds. Hopefully we can snag ourselves some hard clue scrolls along the way, but I am so excited. We are about to get 70 range. Um, one thing some of you guys might not actually recall, a long, long time ago, like early on in this series, I did get an elite clue scroll, and it's still sitting in the bank, actually, and I've been holding off on it because I need to wear black dehyde chaps. Well, guess what? When I level up range, we can actually carry on with the clue scroll. Alright, here comes level 70 range in just a second, and there we go with that. The range grind is finally over. Um, I'm gonna head to the bank quick, take a look at the gear I have right now, and I'm gonna kinda talk strategy about the upcoming fire cape. So based on what I currently have, I wanna say this is the best gear setup I can go with. I'm gonna use that armadal dehyde body because it has the nice prayer bonus. Um, I don't have a Zamorak book or anything, so rune kite shield is really my only option. Now the only thing I'm not entirely sure about is if I should use proselyte legs or barrow's legs. Now, Barrow's Legs give me really, really good defense bonus, but then I only have 7 prayer bonus, and that is really freaking low. So what I'm thinking is, this setup right here should be okay for me. Um, my defenses are not the greatest, considering I can't use Bruise, but as far as I can tell, this is the best setup I can use. If you have any suggestions on what you guys use, I guess leave a comment down below on ways I can improve this. But as far as I'm aware, this is the gear setup we're going to have to rock with for the Fire Cape. Hey, there we go, finally got our first clue scroll coming in of the Hellhounds task, hopefully one of many. Okay, there's the clue scroll completed, pretty decent reward, three good alcables and stuff, so definitely will take that. Also, the Curse of the Magic Longbow, god dang it. Neve, what do you got for me? Anku, fast task, uh, currently 224 points. Uh, and three more, I will get a 60 point boost, so after this one is done, we'll have two more tasks, and then I should have 300 points. Abby Spectres. Okay, cool. Well, hello there. My first ever task is Abby Spectres, and we get a clue scroll already. At the moment, I'm trying to pray flick these, and it's going really poorly. My idea, though, is, is because I don't have a herb sack, I'm going to pick up almost every clue scroll. So I'm thinking I could wear, like, monk robes and, like, keep prayer on until it runs out and then just teleport and bank. Going to try that next time. Should be the reward here. A little, uh, deep wilderness YOLO. Ooh, Ancient Coif. Okay, that's actually awesome because previously I had been using a regular Coif. Like, the one that Pures wear. So that's a cool upgrade, I guess. Not very useful for God Wars, but I will take it, plus a nice Alkable. Okay, guys, there we go. We just finished our Bloodville task. With that, we got our 60-point boost, which means we can now buy the ability to make ourselves some broad bolts. Confirm, and there we go. There is pretty much the last step I'm going to need for this fire cape, other than obviously gathering some supplies, so that is very, very exciting, guys. And uh, with that, I do still have that elite clue scroll in the bank, so I'm going to attempt to do that. I'm only on step two, though, so the likelihood that I can finish it is very low, but I'm going to try. Okay, finally, after all this time, completed the step of the clue scroll, can I do the next step? Yeah. <laughs> uh, obviously no. No, I can't. I'll be able to do it soon, but not today. I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm, I promise you, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Alright guys, well that is going to be it for today's episode. Obviously we made some incredible gains once again. We got all the way up to level 70 range, as well as 60 mining, and we also bought the ability to make broad tip bolts. Now for next episode, I need to actually get 55 fletching because I can technically make the bolts, but not level-wise I can't, so I need to chop myself some oak logs right now so I can train fletching, but fletching's a fast skill, so I'm not too concerned about that. Um, also for next episode, I need to start buying these stuff to make molten glass, so I can get 61 crafting, not only so I can do the Lunar Diplomacy quest, but also so I can carry on with my Elite Clue Scroll, just to add in the extra motivation. Taking a look at my total level, we are currently at 1350 on the dot, which is uh, pretty appealing to the eye. Um, as far as items added on this episode, we obviously got another Torag's play body. 
We got a Varax Flail, and we also got a very useful Armital Dehyde Top, so really happy about that. Uh, current bank value total is just about 30 mil. Know what? Oh, sorry, the overall's in the way. Well, it says 29.3 there. Um, it would be over 30 mil, I think, except I've got some weird stuff going on where, for example, my Torag's legs broke and I haven't fixed those and yada, yada, yada. But the bank is at 30 mil just about, guys, which is insane. Next episode, we are going to make some supplies, including broad tip bolts, hopefully finish off Lunar Diplomacy, carry on our lead clue scroll, and most importantly, go for a fire cape. Thank you all very much for watching today's episode. If you enjoyed, feel free to hit that old like button down below. I seriously appreciate it, and I will see you all later.